Welcome back. You guys ready to see why Boo doesn't care about you or anyone else except herself? I guess I should probably translate that for all the uh, caribou fans to uh, maybe baby talk. I think it goes something like, Buckle up. Harry had several responses he made to this video. He said that the clip was taken out of context, which I will just personally say right now, I watched the full interview. Uh, when I edited that clip with the zoom ins and the subtitles, I did not edit any uh, clips of it. I wasn't clipping his words together or changing what he said in it. Those were direct exact quotes. And you can go watch the original full podcast interview if you want. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's try that with some of your hot takes. I know you uh, dislike evil scalpers and people that stole serial promos, and you'll, you'll point that out, but surely that isn't as bad as taking all the hits out of packs before they even leave the store, right? I was telling Taco that we should get a really, really accurate scale and just start measuring these cards. You know what, I'm gonna have to take a break because I need to blow my nose, so I'll be right back, guys. Let me go find the tissues. Blew my nose, let's take a sip of coffee. Oh man, that coffee's good. Taco, the coffee's really good. It tastes fantastic. Okay, now we're fully ready for some last pack. Some last pack juju, baby. Hopefully it's good juju. Hopefully I can open it. But uh, as I was saying, I was telling Taco we need to get like a really accurate scale and just start weighing these bad boys at the store. <laughs> it's so overkill. <laughs> just start throwing Pokemon packs down on the scale. That would just be like next level. That's like too much. Too much. It's really weird that for some reason you're on this kick about being disrespectful to artists when you're constantly calling Pokemon and specific cards trash or garbage. I don't quite get that. I guess, uh, I guess you didn't think anyone would look back at that stuff. If you value the artist's work that much, why wouldn't you see this, this, this statement, this comment that so many other people think was extraordinarily disrespectful to the artist? It's, it's actually like, they're all about the looks. It's purely cosmetic. And last card, a holographic Drampa. Um, I, what is this? What is that? He's like a big blob. <laughs> He's just a blob. What the heck is that? Okay, there we go. I mean, it's a holographic. It's a holographic blob. Do you know how disrespectful that is to say to the creator of this card? They only had three more. Bullaby, Jatini, Zora, Psyduck, Molga, Dark Energy, Golduck, Dana, Spirit Tomb, Jatini Reverse Hollow, and a Kabutops. Wow. Bunch of garbage. He is the only reason that card even exists. Same. Because we ain't, we ain't pulling anything from these cards. Straight Garbo 2.0 is absolutely disrespectful. And if you don't think it's disrespectful, then that's your opinion. But I do. Super familiar with the older sets because I just recently got into Pokemon this year. So like, I don't even know, like whatever Pokemon this is, no idea that it existed, honestly. If I'm being 100%, if you told me this was a Pokemon, whatever that is, I'd be like, no, it's not. That is not a Pokemon. <laughs> 100% I do, and thousands of others do as well. These cards, because I just kind of feel like I know that they're trash, you know? And I'm like, okay, there's gonna be nothing in this pack, you know, uh, this is gonna be straight trash. But that does not erase the disrespectful comment you made. Water drop energy, a tearum, an ident and I <gasps> unidentified Fossil, a Sheldon, a Volpix, an Eevee, a Murkrow, a Yanma, Patiruzu, Reverse Hollow Shinx, and a bunch of garbage, straight up, non-holographic, Alolan, and Akita. <laughs> like what? I, like I just see this card now, and I'm just like, but why? A Reverse Hollow Cresselia, and then oh. 
Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I'm not even gonna comment on that. You guys already know how I feel about that card, so we're just gonna disregard that. Just erase that out of your memories. No need to remember that one. Let's just, let's just, just get that out of there. <laughs> and if that isn't bad enough, can you imagine making fun of someone, a music artist, during a live performance and then joking about it, vlogging about it afterwards? Me and Taco kept making fun of this guy and it was kind of messed up because all of his vocals were just it was like grade A fire truck, honestly. He calls himself king. He sat in the throne at Collecticon. I was robbed during my childhood. I didn't collect Pokemon cards. I didn't play the Pokemon games. I just kind of totally didn't do any of that. But I used to collect the figurines of Pokemon as a kid. Um, I had like the whole collection of figurines. I ended up selling them at a yard sale. I was so upset that I did that now that I'm like into Pokemon. I didn't collect Pokemon cards. I didn't play the Pokemon games. I just kind of totally didn't do any of that. So wait, did you or did you not partake in Pokemon stuff as a kid? The same people that we're supporting and encouraging and watching every day on this platform are the same people who are feeding into monetizing and using these other people to just milk their viewership, milk their views. I mean, why is it all about money now? Yeah, the ditto is actually worth some money, actually. I feel like I'm gonna open a card and it's gonna be like a really cool, valuable, nice card and I'm not even gonna know. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, they're treating Pokemon like it's just a monetary value. Gold card today, of course, you probably guessed it. The Restaurant and Charizard Rainbow Rare card is uh, probably worth the most in this set. I think it's like 150 bucks or something crazy. Uh, so we're gonna try to pull that baby today. Dude, this is probably worth a bit. To treat Pokemon like all it's good for is making money off of. Encouraging everyone else to go out and do the same. The new sets are absolutely garbage and you get garbage pulls and I don't advise anyone buy them unless they're gonna keep them sealed up forever and never open them, yay! <laughs> Whoever pulls the most valuable cards will win. Gotta feed that victim mentality, right? It's definitely the influencers it's not uh, people overindulging regardless all the other collectibles and everything else that went up in value and everyone's trying to buy definitely not that stores from where I live not having shining fates or any TCG I've even called stores outside my city just to try and get some on whatever faction of Pokemon they're in, right? So whether they like the, the collecting side, the TCG player side, whatever, that's their main priority is to create entertainment for others. But what if their main priority is to profit, just like a store or a scalper? What if that's their main priority? And the way they found how to do that is through creating the content they create. Would they still be creating the content they create if they made zero dollars from it? <sighs> Isn't it kind of weird to ask if they would do it if they didn't make any money when you wouldn't even go out and get a job to buy a computer to create content you had people buy it for you guys senpai patrick gave us an amazing gift and he was like do it for the content boom been doing this for or starting our collection for about two months now we're really into it you can see we have so much stuff already excessive spending on plushies and other stuff that's all around and then claiming YouTube is paying you. It's only YouTube. It's definitely not the uh, the Patreon or the GoFundMe. Her defense is always gonna be, "Oh, that's just sexism. How how dare you? What the what the heck?" Same with uh, a lot of the comments. So uh, I just like to say, at least I didn't go as far as to say that uh, her outfits were slutty. I don't know. I think it's like cute, country, kind of slutty, whatevs. We have a Pokemon dedicated Instagram if you guys want some spicy Pokemon Instagram posts. For someone that hates Logan Paul so much for all the wrongdoing in the Pokemon community, it's weird that you do something so similar to his brother. Well, some might argue that uh, recording drug addicts 
might be almost as bad as recording the suicide forest. We went to eat Vietnamese food, or us walking around and seeing a bunch of meth addicts everywhere laying on the ground that got picked up by security. For someone that's so sensitive about, you know, everything is sexist and everything else, you would think uh, at that level of woke, you might not make jokes about homosexuals. That'd be out of line, right? So into vulgar. The, no, I, he's the one that, that teased me, and I thought it was Cynthia, and I pulled Taco him. Taco dudes. He pulled it on. Wow. Energy, a Volkner, Taco's boyfriend, Cosmo. There's nothing wrong with being new to the hobby. I mean, a lot of people are these days with uh, with everyone hopping in. A lot of that is uh, temporary interest that will that will just go away. The market is going to return back to normal. I'd just like to advise people, especially those that are emotional right now, that can't get product or anything else, maybe seek advice from someone that's been in the hobby for more than two years, that's been around when it's normal, and that can realize that everything's just going to go back to the way it is. Yes, Pokemon is still going to be popular. No, it's not going to be this hype forever. It just If you're in the hobby long term, you're going to be just fine. Let's uh, take a look at maybe a, an indicator or two of why you shouldn't be seeking out advice from Frosted Caribou, even though the victim in you might want to uh, to hear that you're a victim. You're not. It's going to be fine. You're going to get all this. They'll reprint whatever. The market will go back to normal, and you'll be able to find cards at the store. Oh, I don't know a lot about this community yet. Who's on this? Who is that? Who's this Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? I honestly don't know. I don't even know what Pokemon that is. You guys, if you know this Pokemon, please say it in the comments because Boo don't know. Dude, I don't even know what Pokemon this is. Oh, the, the electric one? Oh, yes. You know, a lot of these Pokemon I don't even recognize. I feel like it's always how it goes, though. The people that are pulling Rainbow Rare Charizards are pulling them from, like, random, random, random places. And you're just like, what is going on, man? And it's always, like, people that know nothing about... It's always, like, the one person that buys just one pack, and they're like, oh, I'm just getting into DCG, and I'm just, you know, I'll just buy a pack. And it's like, oh, Rainbow Rare Charizard, no worries. <laughs> and it's always, like, people that know nothing about... It's Fans can't be the song you release. 